Well, you, as you can see, I'm the lucky person that got the Pilicornis colony of Campanotus. And uh, I would like to say thanks to Tracy for sending me pictures via Facebook. I was able to locate the Queen because I was having a duck fit at first. I could not find the Queen at all. And I thought, oh God, there's no Queen in this colony. However, um, she did send me pictures and I'm very grateful to her because it was a big help in locating the Queen. These are definitely ants with attitude. They kill anything that moves. They even one of them even bit my finger and drew blood. So I got very powerful jaws. And not only are they ants with attitude, I've nicknamed them White Mountain Apache ants. Because they will not let us take out this big wad of cotton wool. They're using it as a feeding station. They drag stuff up on top. They've been feeding on wax worms this morning, uh, in the form of the moths, however, because the, most of the worms have hatched. And uh, mealworms they've taken in, and they've drunk some of the sugar water that Tracy sent down. Now, the queen is in the nest. And you can see her there. Now as you can see, she, she is virtually the same size as the, the major workers, or the, you could even call them super majors, because she's about 14 millimeters and so are they. So that was one reason why we couldn't find the queen, because it was so difficult not knowing what the queen looked like. I was expecting a queen with a, a, a much larger sort of thorax and a more rounded gaster. So because she's slimline, she didn't stand out so well. As you can see, some of those majors are as big as her. In fact, some of them look even a, a tiny bit bigger. But there she is. And it's nice to be able to prove now that there is a queen, and again, that's thanks to Tracy, Tracy Thomas, the ant lady, and uh, oh, I just can't find her enough really, because those photographs she sent me were of huge help, because I don't think I'd have spotted this lady that easily, she tends to blend in. And it was one of those big girls that grabbed me. And I thought, oh, wow, what the hell is this biting me? And then when I saw blood on the thing, my finger, I thought, oh, dear, 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 I'm going to have fun here. And they came in somewhere in the workers in the Tupperware container. And the rest of the colony with the brood was in a, a big glass tube I can't remember what they call those glass tubes now but it's a huge big big thing and as you can see um, they are using that cotton wool to climb all over and drag food up onto I just wish they'd get off it and give us a chance to pull the damn stuff out but they're not doing so there we are, that's the Campanotus pilicornis. And I'm so pleased to see that lady there. Because that means not only have we got a lot of brood in there now, we should have even more brood over the period of time. The nest, as far as I know, should hold them because it, it's it's not particularly overcrowded even with the ones that are in the foraging box 
there's plenty of space in there for them and this is about the longest video I've ever done on any ants that I've kept so that's it that's the Campanotus pelicornis colony from Tracy the Ant Lady